Hi everyone. This is another day, another share. Uh, I'm doing quite a few of these because we got in six boxes. Four of them were notions. So I'm going to continue on with the notions and show you a few more in this video. And the first thing I want to cover is um, just some stuff, little stuff, okay? Um, okay, so we received in these back in, so the silk pins are back in, and I also got in um, some, they're called, what are they called? Flower head pins. Flower head pins. So these have been uh, restocked, and something I haven't had, uh, or have had, I'm, I can't remember if I've ever had, and the quarter inch, um, add a quarter inch uh, ruler in pink for breast cancer uh, survive. Uh, so I'm assuming some of the money that I've paid for these will go towards breast cancer. So, okay, so these are in. This is what I use. Mine's yellow, um, but this is what I use when I do the um, paper piecing uh, tutorial on my YouTube channel. So, um, so if you want, they're in, they're available. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is I've received in some of the new Elizabeth Hartman patterns. So the first one is this one. Uh, it is called Rainbow Rain, yeah, Rainbow Rainforest. So they're really, really cute. And it has a pillow, small sampler quilt, and the large sampler. What you see here is the, the large one, and then the small one is in the back, and then any one of these that you see here can be turned into a pillow, okay? The other thing that, um, the other one is um, Armadillo, Armadillo, aren't these adorable? I want to do this one. This one's just super, super cute. And there's a pillow size 16 by 26, so it's more of a um, uh, small lap throw, uh, not lap throw, sorry, it's more like a, a, a lumbar pillow, 16 by 26. A small quilt size is 58 by 60, and a large quilt size is 68 by 82. So, yeah, so there you go. And Little Llamas. So these are super, super cute. Again, there's a baby quilt of 32.40, a lap quilt of 64.68, so 64 by 68, and a large quilt 60, no, 76 by 87. And this is the little lap, the baby quilt. Okay, so they're super, super cute. You can't get cuter than that. Just trying to get the light off. Um, so yeah, and the last one is uh, pandas in sweaters. Aren't they adorable? And again, they have the 24 by 24 pillow. They have small quilt is 46 by 50, and large quilt, which is the one I'm showing you now, is 66 by 72, and the small one is just four little pandas put together. So I don't believe that these, these blocks are very small. I think the blocks themselves are, are in and around the 24 inch um, size. Ugh. Itchy nose. All right, so the last video I just uploaded, um, we talked briefly about the, I showed you the rulers of creative grit. Now this is the 60 degree diamond ruler. And um, I also got in um, patterns like this. Now, this pattern is really cheap. It's $2.60. So, um, and it's a really, really nice pattern. It's just a cardstock thing that I packaged in plastic. It doesn't even come with that packaging. It's, that's how cheap it is. But the pattern itself is well written. So now, the next one is, I mentioned uh, Krista Moser. She works, this is her design of her ruler uh, for Creative Grit. And um, she does a lot of quilts with this ruler. She's also designed the small one. And I have both in the store. Um, and I bought, brought in four of her quilts. So there's... Uh, 
Bespoke Stars. Bespoke Stars. And it uses this ruler. These, these patterns use that ruler. So if you don't have it, you can get your pattern and the ruler at the same time. The other one is City Girl Chevron. Um, she's done a different colorway on the back. But this is a front colorway. And just really nice. She does some really pretty patterns. Now, Double Struck Star. Uh, there, there we go. That's another one. Again, it's using the Creative Grid Large 60 Degree Diamond Ruler. And this one is the Simaphone, Simaphone Stripes. And you can um, watch her, how she does the patterns, how she does her cutting and putting together and just, you know, a brief description. She does a video on every one of her patterns that she launches. So you can go check out the videos and um, you can come and um, I'll put the link below for all these patterns and everything. Now, something that I've never had in before and I'm really, really happy with is I, I brought this in to test. It's a cutting mat. And it's two-sided, so you have a light green and a dark green. It is double thickness than the Ulfa mats. It's made out of um, recycled, um, uh, it's PVC free. It's made with recycled um, plastics and stuff. And it's double the thickness because you have two, basically you have two mats glued together. You have a dark green and a light green. And I've been working on, working with these for, uh, I would like to say about eight months. And I use the dark green side a little more so I can see some markings and everything. But they seem to be um, lasting a lot longer than my Ulfas. Um, so I decided to bring them in. So I have these ones in, the light green with the dark green on the other side and so which I like because if you're working with very dark fabrics you can use the the light green and if you're using very light fabrics you can use the dark green and it's easier to line up your rulers and know that you are cutting nicely now another thing that I brought in is this cutting mat and it's a lazy Susie it turns okay I don't know if it, yeah, <laughs> it turns like a Lady C. Susie. So those of you who enjoy cutting out um, your English paper pieces with a rotary blade and rulers, like shapes of rulers, uh, this would be the ideal cutting mat. So you don't have to, you can just turn and cut. Um, I haven't yet, this is my mine, I haven't yet tested this. Um, but I, I've been wanting one for, for a long, long time. Another thing that I've been wanting is um, a design board. This is 18 by 18 design board. Um, this is mine, and I have them. I have both the Lazy Susie and the cutting mats in, uh, not cutting mats, but this is a, a felt design board, and I have them both, the cutting board, Lazy Susie cutting board, and this one. Uh, they're in the shop now, um, so this I have and this I have. Now, what this is, what I like this to is, is I want to lay out my block and bring it to the sewing machine and put it down beside my sewing machine, and then I can just because um, I, I cut on uh, on my cutting table, and then I move to the sewing machine, and I want to transfer this. I want to lay it out. On something and I usually use my 12 by 12 uh, cutting um, rotary cutting mat um, from Ulfa but the problem is is that it's 12 by 12 and if you're doing a 12 by 12 block it's bigger than your cutting mat it ends up with all the pieces laid out beside you know in its order because you have the seam allowance and everything onto the pieces it becomes a little big to transport so I got I got these. I thought these would be great. Um, this is a felt, so 
nothing's you, you the fabric will stick to this and nothing will fall off and it's great to be to transport or leave it there to come to on another day um, so I am going to be doing more because there's uh, more patterns to show off and um, more uh, and then of course uh, I got in two boxes and two collections of fabrics which we have not yet like I said there was six boxes two of them were fabric four of them were notions and it's taking me all this time just to get the whole weekend just to get the uh, notions onto the website so we're going to be starting soon the the actual fabrics we have started we had we they it comes with panels and stuff like that so um, the next video will be the last for the notions and then we'll be um, working on um, some of the uh, fabrics as soon as we get them on I'll let you know okay uh, and I'll be launching a, a video also so that is my uh, share for today my shares because there was multiples <laughs> so I'll see you next uh, day uh, share day and um, happy quilting bye bye